hello hello everyone my name is bessie and this is budget the best if you're a subscriber welcome back and if you're not i hope you are by the end of this video this is take two this whole thing is going to be take two because i filmed uh, i filmed my travel binder stuffing and when i realized that i was done to you know stop the recording i realized it wasn't recording at all so we're gonna start again and it's okay but to catch you up on what you did miss, let me show you. I unstuffed all of this and there was a lot of ones, there was a lot of fives, there was a lot of tens and that's great and it's beautiful. We saved about $264 with this. And we also unstuffed these envelopes. Where is it? The one back here, which had about $225 or $325. And these were from three different challenges that I did from Lisa Grateful Me, also known as the Happy Mailbo Mailbox Co. on Etsy. So check out her shop. And I love her challenges because they're small denominations and they add up. And with three, I had like $300. So it was great. And I knew I was going to use it for our trip right now. What else did I forget to, what else did I forget? Of course, I cannot forget. I also did some shout outs. <laughs> And I wanna make sure that I continue to do the shout outs here. The shout outs are gonna to be to Prosperous Budgets and also Planning It On Budgets. Both of them I think are fairly new, but they are great community members already. They're super supportive. I remember I was noticing something on Planning It On A Budgets video about like the little pink pomade that you use to kind of count money that bank tellers use. And she is going to send me one and I can't begin to thank her for it because honestly, it's just like, that's how supportive this community is. You say that you, you know, you appreciate something, someone might have something extra and might be willing to part with it and send it to you or just like, you know, the giveaways we have on here. So honestly, this is a great community, y'all. So I'm gonna put this to the side and we're just gonna get into kind of the stuffing, like what is actually happening here. Let me, let me put this to the side. So I started by Luisa and blabbering about how I may or may not take her depending how I feel on Tuesday because I want to take care of her I want to take care of her but what we are going to do first is going to take out these envelopes which I am not a huge fan of and I wish my new ones were here but they're still not here and if they are here by Tuesday then I'm taking with them with me but here are the backups that this shop sent me and unfortunately even the backups that they sent are also peeling right here and not as much as these ones but that's how mine's that's how these started with just like a little bit and just like through like a couple of weeks they already kind of you know fell apart a little bit i'm gonna take these out if if luisa lets me girl you are strong okay i'm gonna put these to the side and this is what i'm gonna put in a different um a7 binder and whatever i don't use up until Monday night, I'm just going to put into my, into these envelopes, my travel envelopes. That's what I'm calling these ones. My travel envelopes, my travel cash envelopes. So I'm put these to the side. Coins I'm going to keep, gift cards and cards. Probs not, probs not. I'm going to put these to the side. But I'm going to keep coins. And let's go ahead and stuff these outside of the Binder because it's just a little bit easier like that. Like I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to start with tips because actually, no, I'm not starting with that. That's not what I did. I did. Let's count what's in my tray now. Let's see how much we're taking. So, sorry if I'm doing this backwards, but 100, 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, so, so far 565 and about 15 in dollars in singles. So we are taking 580 in cash, which actually now that I'm kind of doing the math, I'm like, that's actually pretty good for like a four day trip. Mind you, I still have some buffer money and my husband is also taking some cash and he has some buffer money. So I think we're covered. And 
let's get into the stuffing for New York, my travel binder envelope cash stuffing. We're gonna start with tips. And tips is gonna get all except one, five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I think I'm gonna do 25. Cause I can't remember what I did the last time. Cause I didn't write it down. So I'm gonna stick 25 in here. And these ones are actually gonna go in this one right here, which I took with me to Hawaii. And I'll show you guys what I do with it later. But again, this is for cash tips when we go to eat or if we see unhoused neighbors. So yeah, I'm gonna put this to the side. Next is souvenirs. Um, most of the people that I would buy souvenirs for are coming with me on this trip. So my mom and my cousin, who I consider my sister and her, my niece, are coming. And I'm probably gonna get some for my younger uh, nieces and nephews, like maybe a little shirt or something. So 55 in here, see? These are new and they're already lifting. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and stuff transit next. Let's see, I have 20. I'm gonna use most of these 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40. So 60 in transit, because we're gonna try and use a subway a bit if we can. Obviously, we'll try and use Lyft and Uber if we have to, if we absolutely have to, but I'm actually trying to avoid that because it can get expensive because I live in a major city, so I know how much it costs. But again, if we absolutely have to, it is an option. Uh, spending on fun, fun, I'm gonna go ahead and put 50, 70, 85, right? Yeah, 85 in fun. Cause most of the things like we already, or I already bought tickets to go watch a Yankees game when we're there. We're super excited. We are diehard nine, I mean, <laughs> We are diehard Giants fans. That's our team. But we do appreciate and always, you know, we're big baseball fans too. So we would love to go see another stadium. And of course, New York Yankees, their tickets were super inexpensive. And it'd be just a great day. Like the, yeah, it looks like I heard really good things from people who visit from out of town who go to the Yankee Stadium. So we're definitely going to do that. Spending, I'm going to stuff food next before I do spending. So spending, food is going to get 200 250 270 in food and this will most likely be for airport food if we need to or food when we're there we're not you know we're with a five-year-old and a 13 year old we're not trying to go to fancy restaurants spending then i'm going to limit myself to 70 and again whatever is left over for my other envelopes i think i have a 20 in there still will go in here so i'm not too worried look at that cash that we saved you guys Okay, now it's gonna be time to put this in this binder. Food is gonna go first. I'm gonna put transit next. I feel like whichever ones I'm gonna use the most often should just go first. And the ones that I'm not gonna use very often are gonna go back. Like tips can go in the back because I'll use it often, but it's not like when we're sitting down, I'll be using it. Souvenirs will go in the back. Spending and fun kind of just can go anywhere. And that is it for Luisa. She's gonna be a world traveler soon enough, or at least cross, cross country. But that is it. That was probably super short. My other one was super long because you saw me unstuffing all the little envelopes. You saw me doing a bill exchange with my other, it was, I had a lot in the other video, y'all. All right, y'all, thank you so much for being here with me. If you've made it this far, don't forget to hit the like button. I appreciate that and drop a comment. Even if it's an emoji, it means so much to me. And I hope you guys are enjoying your time and I hope I'm enjoying my time in New York too. Thank you all, bye. JK, JK y'all. <laughs> uh, there was one more thing I wanted to show you. So I'm going to take Luisa in this little bag. She fits perfectly. Um, and I'm gonna take my singles that I had in this cash envelope in here and they both fit and I'm gonna take them in my like little purse that I'm gonna take with me. I feel very confident. I probably won't take all the cash with me in one day. Like I'll give myself a budget per day and then leave 
cash in the hotel hidden somewhere just in case and if we get there and if it's super cashless i'm just going to go ahead and put it in my in my bank account and just use my atm card but that's the plan this is where she's going to go in and oh my gosh she matches we match matchy matchy okay but thank you all again for sticking around this long hit that like button leave a comment thank you all bye